All right, and we are back with grand finals. We're getting into it. Lolly coming out of loser's bracket versus Jazz in the winner's bracket. Um, Lolly on Chaos Recruiter today, whereas Jazz is on the tried and true GOAT control. Jazz says good luck. Yeah, Lolly will have to win two matches in a row to take this tournament. And his first DCS title, um, he would be the second person in Duels Grand's Championship Series history to do that. Uh, he would join Calvin Tejon in a very exclusive club. Very good turnout for Team Seraphim. Yes, yeah, Seraphim are in, are cl have closed out at this DCS. Um, Although I will um, shamelessly add that uh, Damage Step decided only to send one member uh, to the bracket here this weekend. Um, so, you know, we, we, made, we made it a little easy on him, but we, we decided as a team, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give you all this one. You know, coming out in force. Respect. I think, well, I guess Damage Step will get their chance in the next DCS. Yeah, playoffs and uh, the DC is in April, what we're looking at. For now, the, bi the big success stories here are both Seraphim members. Uh, Jazz looking to, to become the first two-time DCS champion in history, um, while Lolly looking to take his first title, um, as well as his first uh, real, uh, real like GOAT format tournament. We need Jay commentating. One sec. Everyone, y'all thank me for this later. Well, that charity worked. It ends up working out for uh, Jazz. He gets to banish a sang in here with a uh, premature on. Uh, DD Warrior Lady. Unfortunately, it will leave Jazz with no no other monsters in grave. gonna keep the pressure up with a, another recruiter summon. So this deck is best at summoning a monster doing 1400. Go. Yeah, it's really strong in the early game, especially against standard goat. Well, he will force a goat activation and he'll try to have book for the the following the follow up thousand eyes. Didn't he just set that? Set what? Was that book a new set? No, 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 no um, that was already there. Yeah. Yeah, so chaining it is pretty good here. Now if Jazz does make a Thousand Eyes, uh, since his book is going to be gone, a uh, Thousand Eyes at least won't do any damage. Wow. What's going on here? Okay, that's correct.
JJ, are you gonna commentate? JJ scared to commentate too. JJ, you clearly speak English. We need input from the Bullet Club Go team. I wish Silver was here. I would ask Silver to commentate right now. Yeah, he's pretty g good at it. <sighs> JJ, I'm totally not saying that on stream. Fuck off. Fuck that. <laughs> Too soon, man. Whew, Jazz needed that pot of greed. Firing off with some more, another dust tornado. Lolly with charity here. Let's see what he can find. He's gonna need a lot to make something happen on this board. By the way, by the way, if anyone was wondering, Big P, Big P plays three spirits, and he wins a lot with Mobius. Finally, gonna break through this thousand eyes here. Um, he gets rewarded for it by uh, getting another light back in its grave. Pretty good shit. And he's got a knock to close the jazz out of that faith. Well, he's starting to have something resembling, resembling an advantage here. Uh, let's see if he can carry it on to a game one win.
Ooh, he's got the book for Thousand Eyes this time. Does he have a Dust Tornado for Snatch, though? He does not. And that Snatch will resolve, taking uh, Lolly's Chaos Sorcerer and putting Jazz firmly back in the driver's seat. Um, yeah, Lolly, Lolly has used two books and two dusts at this point, so he is pretty soft to the Snatch deal, but he can still fire back with Heavy Storm. which Jazz would need to respond to with his second of two Book of Moons in the main deck. Well, that'll do it. He does have, Lolly will have his own snatch steal. Um, wonder what he's going to do with the sorcerer, though. Attack. Ends up in a pretty even trade, uh, but Lolly still needs to find a way to get rid of the set monster. between a Sangin to a Merchant could spell, um, could spell bad news for Lolly. And he will be, uh, drop his BLS going all in here with Snatch Steel off the table and Jazz without a Chaos Monster of his own uh, that he can summon. Jazz with four cards to deal with his BLS. Um, his own BLS won't do it. Um, and if he wants to use Metamorphosis, he's going to have to use... Uh, it would have to be the third one in his top 20. Try infecting virus will uh, close it out for Jazz. He's gonna be taking game one here. Alright, so anyone, anyone who missed that, we have Alan C. Pennington, the, the ACP watching 
on the Duelist Grounds uh, uh, Dueling Book account. If that doesn't make this duel high profile, I don't know what does. Um, simple as that. Alright, Lolly opening up set game two with a T set. He's looking at two straight matches just to be able to keep playing for the title. Um, or two straight wins. Um, like, he, he's down to his last life, so to speak. It's not that it's the last match, it's just... He, he can't lose anymore. He's going to get a Sakuretsu out of Jazz uh, with his first Mystic Tomato. Uh, wondering what the set monster is. Um, does Noman will get a Merchant um, on turn one? Pretty standard stuff. Shining Angel will get over Sang in here. Sang and adding a Serpent, standard stuff. Interesting, Jazz opting to use his Premature Burial early here. Is this a hard read on New Doria? No. What what does he really feel what does he feel like he needs to get? He's certainly not gonna book. Yeah, no, he takes the damage. Shining Angel getting in there over Serpent. Jazz firing off an early snatch steal too. Lots of inter interesting decisions here. Um, first with kind of a, an early premature, and now with snatch on Shining Angel. Oh, well, you gotta make something happen. Down two cards. Gonna start taking. Uh, it's not that good of a clog for Jazz, which makes me wonder why he wanted to do the Snatch Shield in the first place. If he wasn't gonna tribute it for a Parshaf. He's basically doing 400 damage turns at this point, at this rate.
Okay, Jazz gonna book this breaker here. That would have been big money for Lolly if he resolved the breaker uh, to destroy that snatch. Let's see if he can protect it though. He's just gonna let it die. Okay. Jazz flips a faith after all that time to get back an MST. Is he gonna have a Sukiyomi too? That'd be really aggressive, I feel like. So many so curious how games are lost. Oh god. He does summon Suk and Lolly doesn't have the torrential. Wow! is going to go up to a lot of life. And Azura Priest is decent here, but he's going to have to claw through a lot. Okay, the Angel does go to the grave. Uh, that's one good thing. Lolly will have a DD Warrior Lady to summon, although he might just get another Angel. We'll see. So with that, uh, with that faith, they'll get back Snatch. Uh, pretty good choice now that Lolly has a DD Warrior Lady on the field. Um, kind of makes him wonder if he should, if he could have just gotten uh, saved himself some pain and gotten a second Angel, you know, knowing that uh, Jazz had the faith, the faith down and all that. is getting dangerously low in life and Lolly smells blood in the water. He's going to summon this BLS here. Is he going for broke? He banishes his own, his own warrior lady. Sets back her own passes. This dust tornado is going to be big. Is it going to be another dust tornado? Oh man, man is, there, is that going to be Noman a cross out? No. Okay, so yeah, Jazz is doing the, um, I guess you could call it a mind game here, um, forcing Lolly to consider a Torrential. Um, looks like Lolly is going to take the bait and flip it up anyways. Um, and Jazz's set is will be revealed to be a scapegoat as opposed to a Torrential. But still good of Jazz to give Lolly the opportunity to make a misread, or make a battery, you know. Lolly's slowly but surely climbing back. Um, she has only has one no woman left, so... Ooh! Good set as her priest. from that. <laughs> Definitely passing prior here is uh, and he does it correctly. He's going to attack though. I wonder if Jazz drew something. He does have a snatch, and it will resolve. Wow. Uh, Lolly still does have a light and a dark for another chaos monster, though. He might go ahead and just slam it down. A 
I think Lolly is playing Faiths, but is he playing Souk? Let me check. Yeah, he does have these two Sukiyomi in deck with three Boken no or two Magician of Faith. I mean, no Sukiyomi in deck, uh, which is pretty interesting. Looks like he's not just snap flipping of Faith though. getting a, a good push here. Um, with any luck, this will end in 1,200 damage. Ooh, but Jazz has another Magician of Faith that's going to resolve. It'll be like his third Snatch deal of the game. At least New Doria, you know. Kind of like a recruiter. It's kind of Snatch proofish. Molly will have book for the snatch. Jazz in the tank. He comes out with a set monster, a set back row. And he passes. Lolly has one of the best duos in the world. One second, everyone. with two noblemen in grave. Um, but maybe if he has a sorcerer, he could get in for lethal here. He has to make a, a really tough read. Um, Jazz's backer could be Rain, Near Force, Torrential, Dust Tornado, uh, Book of Moon, Scapegoat, or just a bluff. Um, Jazz opting to bring in the mimics here, too. Interesting. Attacked with Azura, uh, yeah, that's good. Because uh, if it was a set Tsukuyomi or a uh, DD Warrior Lady, you wouldn't get over it. Or the new Dory one. Oh, God. Heavy Storm. And Jazz admits defeat, and we're going to a game three. This is it. now. Uh, set one of grand finals. Jazz could take the entire tournament, or Lolly could force us to uh, a second set um, with a bracket reset. 
It would be the first match Jazz has lost in this entire event, as you can see from his bracket run. But Lolly had had a respectable one of his own too, um, losing round one to Tango, but then mo uh, mo uh, plowing through Marcus World Gone Mad, uh, his own teammate Gsop, and then Lucas, of course, in losers finals. This could be the last game of the tournament. We'll see. Awkward. Jazz with an opening that isn't too crazy. Um, he uses a dust shoot. Uh, going first in game three on Recruiter Chaos. Wow. Sends an angel back. I wonder what the rest of the hand is. Is he going to write it down? Guess he's not. taking a minute here. Apparently he had a second angel in that hand, um, but Jazz opted to send one back. Alright, so the Mimic draws him a card. Using a knock here, apparently uh, not afraid of any flip effects on Lolly's part. Pretty good idea. See if Lolly can deal with this clock somehow. Merchant here. Um, Faith not looking too hot. Although Nobleman with that souk in his hand is pretty nice. Maybe it's a souk. Gotta hope it's not a dark mimic, though. That would just be terrible for him. What is jazz? Oh, shit. Are they gonna have to remake or replay? So they're going to recreate. Stand by, everyone. Sorry for this uh, momentary uh, inconvenience. Jazz was at 8,000, right? Yeah, he was. Set monster, set... Uh, let me check their screenshots, too.
Yeah, Jazz, you should send me one more screen. Ooh. Lolly, I think I was fast enough. I, d I did this drag move. Um. I really want to start playing Kevin Gates' Two Phones song, but uh, I, I don't want the video to get copyright strike on YouTube, or struck, I should say. Otherwise, I'd be playing that song. Shouts out to Young Metro. Finally getting in there for some damage. Shouts out to Calvin Tahan. Shouts out to ACP. Shouts out to T setting against two recruiters, or a recruiter and a floater, whatever you want to call something. I don't know. Doesn't Jazz have an end to turn discard to do? One second, maybe my screen isn't showing it properly. Jazz apparently in the tank thinking about his discard here. One of them is Serpent, and then another is going to have to be a real card, I assume. Probably a Parshaf. Like, ideally for Jazz.
I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I was tripping about that. It's Jazz's turn, not Lolly's. I got the colors mixed up. You guys are just thinking about his play. I thought Jazz had just drawn him past. Um, I don't know why I didn't see it like this being lit up. Anyway, Jazz is going to summon BLS. Kind of early. Could could work out in his favor, or he could get screwed over for it. He's going to discard a nobleman and a sorcerer. He will have a storm. Can he just win from here? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, creature swap. That's a pretty good card. Jazz definitely made the right call. Uh, something that BLS in defense. I'll tell you that much. Zero priest back. Um, Jazz will have the meta on his serpent. Question is if Lolly is actually going to take 3,000 from this. Jazz doesn't want to take the chance, he decides to pass. That's just game, right? He does have to let Jazz gain another thousand, but that's going to go a long way towards taking us to a second set of grand finals. Standby phase ring. Destruction, is this gonna be it? Match two. All monsters in Jazz's hand. Oh my god, guys. And gals. Everyone else. Alright, and we'll be we'll be finishing up in just a second here. 